and welcome back to Pendragon's Twisted Metals. As you can see, we are joined again by our little toothless dude. Yeah! So, today we are going to be redoing one of the backs. We're going to skip through kind of what we did with that uh, because we melted one of them. So, we're going to... Uh, quickly go through that and then solder all of the pieces together um I'm not sure if we're going to continue by cleaning all of them and then cutting down all of the prongs but I do know that we will get to the soldering them together now, last week I had asked uh, for people to comment and uh, see what names we want to name the new torch. I haven't gotten any comments. For comments. Then, then I'll know what to name my torch. I might just end up uh, doing like a Facebook thing if if uh, no one comments, but I would really like it if you guys could comment. So then we can we can choose a name. You guys can choose a name, not me. You guys, and then we'll we'll name the torch, and that is what I will call it. Philip. Philip the torch. Daniel the torch you guys choose in any case uh, we got a lot to do tonight so let's get started <laughs> Okay, so now we need to um, basically shave these down to the size of the gem. As you can see, there's a little bit of, well, a lot of bit of overhang here and on this other side as well. So we are going to be snipping um, the majority of that off and then uh, using a file going and and cleaning it up so that they are the exact size that they need to be and we're going to do that to all of these <laughs> Thank you. 
don't be too rough, but also don't be too gentle, because this is the point where you're testing out your joints, you're making sure that these are soldered. Um, I mean, I already found two uh, pieces, two prongs on two separate um, backs that were not soldered right, and they snapped off. So you want to be firm with cleaning. Of course, not aggressive. Don't be like, you know, don't hit it with a stone or anything. But like, be firm so that you know that your prongs are all set correctly and and that they'll hold. Um, that's that's not you know that that's basically what I use the cleaning process for is to make sure that my joints are all good. Let's continue. Now that we have these all cleaned, we are going to set them up and use binding wire to make sure that they are going to stay together.
Okay, so as you saw, I tried putting the binding wire around these center poles, but the problem is, as you saw, the second I did, all of them just bunched up. So I think I'm going to have to figure out another way to keep these in this pattern, but also be able to solder them. So I think I'm going to have to preheat my refractory to put heat into the backs of these and then quickly solder these together. But I don't think this doing binding wire will work very well. All right. Well, um, I am going to have to figure this one out just to make sure that I can do it. Um, but I think I am going to have to preheat the refractory so that it imparts more heat into the backs of the piece. So then when I go to solder it, um, I'm going to have to place them down quickly and then place the solder down quickly and solder it. Um, so then I don't overheat it and melt or overheat one of the prongs. So, unfortunately, we did end up running out of time, uh, for this episode, but, um, this leaves us basically finishing this up for next episode and it gives us a pretty good starting point because all of them are clean and we just need to set up the refractory and uh, solder them. So next week we are going to be doing that and potentially starting the frame either the frame or the wing leaves on the sides. I think the frame first, because now that we have our center shape, we have measurements that we can go by, because I know where the frame is supposed to be on those points. So that's going to be next week. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed this episode. It is a bit uh, on the we only did one thing side, but this is a fairly large project. Uh, and I'm trying to make sure that I explain things so that you guys know what I'm doing. But I hope that you all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, hit the like button. And if you really liked it, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Uh, it really helps out the channel. We already passed uh, 53 subscribers, so that's great. Um, I'm really surprised, honestly, that more than 50 people have started watching and subscribed. But, hey, uh, that must mean that I'm doing something right. So, uh, like I said, it really helps out the channel. It helps me know what I'm doing right. And, um, the, uh, suggestions for the name of my torch is still going on. So if you guys want to comment, 
what I should name my torch, uh, that'd be great. I might end up just naming him Nemo, because nobody commented. Oh, Nemo the torch. I don't know. But uh, I want you guys to decide. So, I hope that I see you all next week or in the next uh, episode. And have a wonderful evening.